Welcome back, my Vorpal bunny friends. I'm Loki's horns, his brain can't focus at the moment for him to record his voice, so please forgive him. Today, we'll be discussing a new manga called, The Death Mage Who Doesn't Want a Fourth Time. The creators of this manga are named Kojima Takahira, the artist, and Densuke, the writer. Currently, it has about 52 chapters in English. If you happen to find a physical copy of this manga, please let me know where you found it in the comments below. In this video, I'll share my thoughts on the manga and review the first five chapters. If you enjoy this type of content, please give it a like and leave a comment. Additionally, if you could help Loki reach 10 subscribers, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, let's dive into the review portion of this video. Just a heads up, Loki can only upload up to 15 minutes, so if this review takes too long, I'll make a second video on this manga. Where to start? I want to summarize these first five chapters. How about kids dying? Yeah, it's an isekai done weirdly. What do you mean by this, Loki's horns? Thank you, random guy the first made up to ask that question. It's made clear in the title of this manga. Now, Trukhan sadly did not take another one. You know what did get a whole class of students Isekai'd? Boatcon. He blew up with a class of students on him. Yay, this is just the first three pages. Boatcon, the new hero we need in Isekai, one we never knew we needed. I salute you, my friend. Now, the class met God and were given powers, except one kid who, as we go on, had the saddest life I have ever seen. He got the short end of the stick. Well, he didn't get any powers or light orbs. Well, his seven light orbs were given to a different guy with a similar name, leaving our hero with nothing. Which puts some hate into the heart of our hero. Now, our hero has no light orbs, but he has the power to hold and generate magical power. Then he was thrown into a new world with technology and magic. He was born to deadbeat parents who sold him to a very shady government group. They gave him a camera for an eye, then they crippled him. The scientists thought, yeah, this will keep the money flowing. That won't end up backfiring on them. He was killed for the second time by a crazy scientist wanting to find something great. That sucked. Did he go back to the place where he met the god? Oh, did he come back to life and brutally kill all of the scientists and the guards, while freeing kids that the scientists crippled to make them more like him? What the hell? That's a yes to all of them. Wow, so he escaped, then raised the kids to fight the government group that did that to him, and on a mission he was killed, right? Did we get a time skip or something? Wrong. When he got out of the lab, his classmates were standing outside. Did they come to save him? Oh, they killed him, and the guy that took his light orbs delivered the final blow. This guy can't catch a break. Now, he met the light god and got light orbs, right? No, he was cursed to never show emotions and unable to level up his skills and whatnot. I'm starting to hate this god. Okay, he was reborn as a baby to a dark elf, and he's a half-vampire. So, a happy life now, no. His mother was killed while getting supplies for her newborn baby, aka our main character. Oh, he made a lot of bone animals and found the ghost of his mother. He bound her ghost to a bone fragment. He learned that people are going to hunt him down, and killed three guys wanting the money for his head. Those guys soon regretted it. That's the end of the first five chapters. This is not everything, as I said. This part of the video is the summary segment. I think I went a little over into chapter five and stepped into chapter six, so my bad. However, this is the other part of the video about my views on the manga. Let me get my Vorpal blade and hammer. Yes, I have a Vorpal hammer, they hit hard. Okay, I got them. Now let's get started. I love that the color pages look like they were colored with watercolors, which I like a lot. However, the art style is very off when you look at the third life. The baby art is very off-putting. I can chalk this up to the artist wanting to make their baby look different from the other parts of the world, which makes sense to me. The story is good, and I like it. The story writer is a good writer. There is some lightheartedness further on in the manga, but those are mixed with story development and learning about the main character's first life. I feel bad for that kid. The family he was born into were dicks. I mean, the thought of a pencil with a TV show character, a toy, and breaking it thinking it's a toy. Yeah, I think I hate the main character's family. 
The art in the manga gets good as this as you read, but further on the color pages loses the watercolor look which makes sense. To get that look would take a long time. I want to learn more about the artist's prose and why the writer wanted to write this story. However, that is a pipe dream for a small channel like mine. But I can hope, can't I? At the moment, I'm happy to make videos for this small community. If you can call 9 soon to be 10 subscribers a community? Screw it, it's a community. With all things said and done Loki wishes all of you good time looking for the manga, and if you have any manga you want him to look into leave a comment below.